Welcome, welcome, welcome to week one, our first module. We're going to be talking about critical reading. And the question you have to ask yourself is, what is critical reading? Well, honestly, the best way to describe it is slowing down. Slow down. Critical reading means that you're not just putting your eyes over the page, looking at words and putting them past you. You're slowing down and you're really absorbing what it is that the author has put into the text. And the best way to slow down, it's a physical and psychological way of doing it, is always, always, always read with a pen or pencil in your hand. And if you are able to read and underline things that seem important, circle words that you don't understand. Maybe you see some key terms or key phrases, which we will discuss in a moment. Um, if you have a pen in hand and you print out your reading, now I'm not requiring anyone to print out their readings, but it really will help. If you print out the David Foster Wallace piece and you have a pen in hand, you will automatically slow down, okay? And the assignments for this week are geared towards getting you to do that. All right. So critical reading then is basically slowing down, really seeing what the author is saying, how they are saying it, and understanding why what they're saying is important. That's the big thing about critical reading is if you annotate your works, and even if you don't have um, your readings printed out, you have a notebook, you take notes in your notebook, words that you don't recognize, things that you see repeated, concepts, even if they're not the same words, but they're the same ideas, make a note of it. Figure out where it is in the text and write that down in your notes. Taking notes, annotating your readings helps you to slow down. And if you slow down, you will pick up so much more information. All right. And that's what we're going to be focusing on this week is slowing down so that we can be more critical in our reading. Again, it's not about getting your eyes over the page and turning the page and say, oh, I read it. That's what you were able to get away with in junior high or in high school, but not here. At the college level, you have to really slow down and think about what it is that the author is saying, how they are saying it, and why they are saying it. All right? And it really helps to not just have the thing printed out, have a pen in your hand, but then also start when reading to ask questions. Why is the author saying this? How does what the author says uh, conflict with what I think already? How does what the author says confirm what I'm already thinking? How does what the author says uh, complicate what it is that I am reading? What's that word right there? What's this word right here? When you put those two words together, how does it change its meaning? Think about the who, what, when, where, why. While you're reading, you will always be able to slow down and pick up a lot more nuance. That is the subtle differences in the reading itself. You have to do that for this course. You have to slow down, ask questions when you're reading. Why are they saying this? How are they communicating their ideas. Are they trying to piss you off? Are they trying to make you happy? Do I trust them because they have a PhD? Do I trust them because they're famous? Do I not trust them because they're just some person? You have to ask questions. You have to slow down and make sure that you absorb everything that's being said. And you have to do all of that when you read. That might be a lot to do if you're just going to read something once. So the suggestion at the college level that I have for you is don't read anything just once. Read it once to get the idea about what's going on. Read it the second time to really slow down and absorb all of the information, take notes, and then read it one more time so that you can start making connections, that you can start defining words and understand the concepts that the author is putting forward. Read it once, read it twice, read it thrice. Slow down. You can do it.